Welcome to FTZ Rides, my name is Joe. In episode two, we're gonna assemble and fire the new engine, as well as finish reassembling the mod sled. Newfoundland is not gonna happen this season, but I'm positive we'll be there in the summer, maybe even twice. Right now, let's get this sled running. This is a veteran owned channel documenting the love of outdoor adventure while living with PTSD and the stigma around treating symptoms with medical marijuana. Let's skip the time lapse just for a minute or 10. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this right quick. My old man made this for me uh, years and years and years ago. I just needed a way to hold my pistons up and level when I was putting the clips in. Anyway, there. So we cut the base on, the motor's on the base. I'm just loading the pistons on the connecting rods there now, right? That went amazingly well, actually. I'm gonna try to do this one, see what happens. Okay, I'm all ready, I guess. I like to put a little two-stroke oil on everything as I'm putting them together. That's what I use for assembly, though.
and it's all made piston holder device thingy if you're doing this in the motor make sure you cover it you don't want to lose those clips down in there you got to take the motor apart you can't get at them you can get them with a magnet but you could also get them in a place where you can't get them with a magnet Don't take my advice. I'm just a dude man in my shed trying to make a sled run. I don't know nothing. I came from a time when you carried a piston in your pocket and those old freaking 377s, 440 TNTs, remember those? Ooh. You don't? That's why I'm looking for some. So we can mess around with them. Okay, so pistons are both on. Okay, we're ready to set those jugs down. Easy. Boy, she just wants to drop right into place. Like, no fucking around. Friggin' around. No beat that out. Right holder. Ah, I figured it out. Ow, ow, ow. Man. She wants to slide into place, but she also wants to bite me on the way. Ah. sort out how all this goes together first. Do you guys want to see this? Okay, I'll let you watch. Usually I do all this off camera. So this is great. This is going to keep me from having to do it again. Right? Right, right? That was on Loctite? It did have Loctite on it. Oh my god, easy. Just like a bull in a china shop. For smash. That's way too much. Oh man. Oh. Oh. That's not a good idea. Lock tight on me. Hey. I just.
just don't see that as being a good idea at all. Because what if I got to get that out? Do you know what I mean? What if? I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? little just a little and a little more and a little more just a little more just a touch just a there okay this should be the last set for this puppy shouldn't be doing this again hopefully not this season anyway Good. Mm -hmm. Ready to drop in. All I got left to do is the rave valves, and they'll go in after motors and the sled anyway. Yeah, she looks great. You know, for a 16 year old engine, new crank, all new, everything is new. You, 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 well, you guys have seen it, you've seen what I've done to her. We'll get her in the sled tomorrow. This is ready to go. So here we are. Pretty much ready to set her in. It's all prepped. I probably didn't need to put those hoses on, but... One last thing I gotta mess with down underneath the motor. So I'm gonna put her in just like that. Oh. Oh, gee. She was light until you put the motor in it. <laughs> yeah, that's me again. Doing me again. Um, I tried to film it in three steps and it didn't work out in my favor so that's why I was kind of taking the motor back out and setting it on the bench because I wanted to change camera angles and you know sorry anyway we'll continue on sorry and I'll catch you at the end of the video here we go I'll just use blue Loctite I may have to take them out again. I don't want the red stuff. Man, look at that. Great in place, like it friggin' belongs there. Yeah, I gotta get the other side in first. Man. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy that says, oh, well, I was a kid, but when I was young, we were no stranger to doing this right out in the yard. You had to have something to ride, so you had to get the motor out to get it fixed, whatever you had to do, right? Maybe you had to get it out so you could weld the frame back together with all the steering components or something because you were an idiot and you smashed it all up. Oh man, look at that one. You should put that one in first. This is one of those ones where you gotta stand on your head, kind of. There it is. Oh 
man. That arm's getting a cramp. Ow. Hey, don't be like that. Right hole. Those legs going in. Finally getting back to the exhaust, got sidetracked. Then I got working on oil lines, vents, and fuel lines and stuff. And she's a long process. Take something totally apart and then put it back together. See if you're doing every nut and bolt. Sometimes when there's stuff that you think should be good, it turns out not to be any good whatsoever. Ask me how I know that. I tell you, it's been something else. I mean, when did I start this? In fact, the first the first video was when I uncovered this sled. That was after moose hunting, before um, Remembrance Day. So it was sometime in October, I think. I don't really remember now. To tell you the truth. Uh oh. Oh, you knew I was going to have to make a mess at some point in the friggin' time. That was just bound to happen. No, I'm not cutting that out either. No, I'm not. Man, it must be cool to have a big shop, like, like actually a whole bay to work in or something. Just make life so much easier. Especially if you're trying to film stuff and moving shit around all the time. Oh, yeah. I'll get some more in there before they get too tight. I don't think I put any copper coat on that one for some reason. Yes, I did. Not much to it. Exhaust studs. Not very glamorous and exciting. To me, it's just one step closer to putting fuel in her. Because that's pretty much the last step. When I start throwing fuel in her, we're not too far away from hearing her bark. I'm going to slide the raise valve in. Rave is Rotex adjustable variable exhaust. So this is pretty much it for the this side of the motor. Next thing that goes on this side of the motor will be the the muffler itself. That ain't happening yet. The front end still gotta be greased, front end still gotta be all put together. That just got painted tonight. I'm going to start with these all the way out, I think. Uh-oh, stuff flying. Look out. I would think, I don't know. Got to start somewhere. Not too tight on these, hey? We'll get that clutch built. Get in on. Right? We're getting close. Reassemble the front end. That, like I said, that won't take very long at all. <laughs> Heard that before, haven't we? It won't take long. This should have been done the 1st of December. We haven't got no snow, so it don't matter. We're only, we got 3rd, 4th, Feb. Yeah, we got no snow whatsoever. Oh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. We'll do something with that, too. I'd like to take this for a rip this weekend. I'd have to get my tags and my trail pass tomorrow. Like 
<coughs> dirty socks and broccoli. <coughs> oh my god, that was bad. All right, guys, let's do it. It's now or never. I want to ride. If it wants to ride. Some kind of a little something or other. This might work. Go, go. Put a little one cylinder anyway. So much for my nice clean motor. Oh, that's gotta be enough. Cool. Oh, is it gonna work? Choke or no choke? Choke. Go. back one piece oh
All right. Finally. I'm not kidding. I like the way that looks. All right. Well, that'll do it for uh, episode two. And if you're still listening to me right now, just hang on for another five seconds and I'll put a little bonus clip on the end there for you. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I, I really appreciate people who take the time out of their busy day and their evenings to uh, watch my videos. That's really great. I'm, I'm humbled by this whole experience. It's so much fun. So anyway, here's to episode two being done and we'll move on to episode three uh, next week, so enjoy your week and uh, happy trails.